Hello everyone and welcome back to a Sunshine Film edition of the Blackford Book Club and another from my essential film reviews collection and I bring you my rambling musings on the 2021 film The Little Things. Written and directed by John Lee Hancock, director of The Blind Side, Saving Mr Banks and The Founder, which I heartily recommend, I've watched this intriguing film twice now and although a year apart I've been left with the same feeling both times. Simplistically, it feels very much like a film of two halves, with a first half full of promise, suspense and intrigue, and a second that benefits greatly from yet another unrecognisably different performance from Jared Leto, but which still loses momentum and fades from interest even with his worthy introduction. The film seems to stall and not go anywhere after his introduction, and whilst this is in no way a criticism or slight of the comedian-like acting skills of Jared Leto, it's perhaps more a damning verdict of a film that had run its course well before its 128 minute running time. With a serial killer seemingly on the loose of the streets of Los Angeles, a somewhat grizzled veteran returns to the scene of both past triumphs and a soul-destroying tragedy. On the periphery and away from the ongoing case, he quickly becomes embroiled as the past refuses to leave him and the future is writ large on the young and cocky new detective who seems destined to follow in his footsteps from the past. Here are your three principal players. Joe Deacon, Denzel Washington. Commonly also known as simply Deke, Denzel Washington is your star of the show here as an ex-Los Angeles detective, now a uniformed officer of a neighbouring county who can see his old department's bright young thing following his older and darker path. Now rehabilitated and recovered from a job that cost him a wife, a divorce and a triple heart bypass, he unwisely joins forces with his new protégé whilst visions and ghosts of his past return to haunt him. Deke is loved and well regarded by the friends in the police department he left behind and whilst he feels the disparaging remarks and jibes from his much younger and new erstwhile partner of being Columbo or Kojak, he's self-assured within, within himself as a purveyor of good old-fashioned and basic police detective work. Dick says he's just leaving, but he never does. He also states it's the little things that are important and it's the little things that get you caught. But is he tracking and on course to catch the actual killer. Jim Baxter, Rami Malik. LAPD's bright young thing is a suited and booted, aloof and somewhat pleased and sure of himself detective who is both seeking to make a distinctive mark as well as stamping his authority on all those that surround him. He tries and fails with Deke, with others disparaging him as a college boy and holy roller. But one thing is evidently clear, this case is quickly hurting him, and in his desperation to resolve it, he may be following Deke down a dark and already well-trodden path. Albert Sparmer, Jared Leto. Arriving midway through the film, with long, straggly and greasy hair, and an unrecognisable paunch, slouch and shuffling gait, Leto inhabits the prime suspect well and with a schizophrenic gusto and zeal. He's either calm, smiling, carefree and loquaciously running down a young detective he seemingly can't help but call Jimmy, or he's unhinged, argumentative and combative. The problem for the film is it simply doesn't go anywhere after his introduction and the tension just drains away. The Little Things has very distinct echoes with the 1995 film Seven, but they're flattering fragments rather than a direct and complimentary comparison. There's a brilliant jump scare in a darkened room. The musical score from Thomas Newman is full of simple, if mournful, piano and strings. And both Denzel Washington and Gerard Leiter are very good. Rami Malek? Rather less so. There's an obvious sequel waiting to be made, but there was a really original, good film too. But it got lost soon after the halfway mark. And that was The Little Things, directed by John Lee Hancock from 2021. And this is Stephen Blackford, in a Radiohead t-shirt for a change. <laughs> Reading and writing, pointless but spoiler free. Film reviews since 2012. 
and I leave you as ever in peace and in solidarity. And I thank you so much for watching. Please take care out there everyone. Peace.